Are you ready to make breakfast? A gallon of hot sauce on every single meal. I'm not kidding with you guys. I go through Valentina, this jug, it's only $2. I go through this probably like two weeks tops, maybe a week. I'm really feeling hungry. All right guys, what's up? Just made some breakfast with Kat. She's on the camera right now because Johnny is out doing, I don't know what, but we're about to go work out later. <laughs> So this is gonna be, so this is gonna end up being the first um, episode of my actual cutting series. It's time to get lean. I'm not getting shredded, I just wanna get lean. Uh, I woke up today at 2.40, uh, 2.45. I always fluctuate between 2.40, 2.45. I bounce between that weight a lot, but I woke up today and I weighed literally 2.45 on the dot. So this is day one of the official cut with Nino. Nino's been cutting a little bit before me, but now I'm deciding to like buckle down and I'm actually gonna drop some weight. Um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different though on this cut. Something I've been interested in trying for a while. I'm gonna be running the vertical diet. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with what the vertical diet is, I'm gonna be covering it throughout the duration of this cutting series. The gist of it is there's like a lot of red meat. It's a diet that's focused around getting your micronutrients in. Um, it's a lot of easily digestible food. And I've done this in the past a little bit. I liked it, but I haven't been like, okay, I'm going to cut on the vertical diet. I'm not gonna get too much into the vertical diet today. Like I said, um, I'm excited to try and cut on it. Biggest concern is this is all super uh, easy for your body to digest and um, I guess I'm gonna get hungry, but guess what? You're gonna be hungry if you're in a calorie deficit, whatever. The reason why I'm running this diet is because I like the fact that it makes a priority in getting your micronutrients in. I didn't really wanna run like a bodybuilding diet, essentially to get shredded, because one, I'm not a fucking bodybuilder, and two, a lot of bodybuilding diets that I've come across, like they're effective to get you shredded, but that's like the goal is to get you shredded. You know, it doesn't take into account micronutrients, uh, your gut health. Um, so I just really wanted to run a diet that didn't put getting shredded as the main priority. Um, obviously that is a priority, but I also want to optimize my health. So that's why I'm choosing to run the vertical diet. We'll see how it goes. Walk us through what you got today, Kat. Are you running the vertical diet? No, I'm still on Rose Meal Plan. I start my cut next month. I start prep next month. So that means you could eat whatever you want right now. You're bulking? Yeah, I am. Like Dirty a, bulking? I'm in like a lean bulk. So I get two eggs, a third cup of egg whites, veggies. I get berries, but I didn't have any, so I'm doing carrots, and then a slice of toast. Sounds gas. Bus. Ruby, you're gonna take a piss on camera? <laughs> My guy. All right, so if you're familiar with the vertical diet, you know that Big Papa Stan Efferdine suggests that you go on a 10 minute walk after eating. I know a lot of bodybuilders do this too, but it helps with digestion. So that's what we've been doing the last couple of weeks. Um, it's felt nice. It's an easy way to get in your cardio because if you go on like, I don't know, four 10 minute walks a day, that adds up to almost like 8,000 steps. So yeah, I'm gonna go out of my way to try and do those 10 minute walks after my meals uh, throughout the duration of this cut. Mostly just to help with digestion, but we'll see. It should be funny trying to balance that, my cardio, and also trying not to be too hungry um, during the vertical diet cut. But like I said, um, the reason why I want to do this diet is because it definitely hits on all your nutrition needs, in my opinion. Is it hot out here, Ruby? We got to keep these little walks brief um, because Ruby be getting hot out here in Vegas. Recording. Welcome to the grocery haul. Today we're dieting. <laughs> just eating. today, just today. Just today. We're, okay, we're defeating enemy number one. That's getting lean, getting the calorie deficit. You already know that. Something that P-Way is not 
really mm-hmm. fond of or known for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but no. Um, we're not fucking around. We're not, fucking, we're, around. We're not fucking around. We're not fucking around. We're doing cardio every day. We're doing five or one bars instead of crumb cookie now. Five or one bars. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're pretty. They're pretty. Fun. No, they're good. They're yeah, good. Yeah, they're, good. they're pretty chill. Grocery haul. Do it again. I didn't get it. Do it again. <laughs> Grocery haul. <time laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, is, this is the plus side for you. Is you get to eat like little snackies like this. Oh, because you're doing the vertical diet. I was telling about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. I, I was kind of talking dieting. about, yeah, that's what I'm saying, is I was telling them about how it's going to be difficult to a certain degree because you're not really meant to stay full on the vertical yeah, diet. No, I've done like similar. Beef and rice goes down so easy. It's too easy. <laughs> but it's good because it's good for digestion. Um, and like I was saying, I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. I don't want to do a bodybuilding diet because uh, I want to get my micronutrients in. So there's give and take with everything. Uh, my take is I'm probably gonna be hungry, but you know what? That's what zins are for and nicotine, you know what I'm saying? Is that a part of the vertical diet? Yeah, it's part of the vertical diet. It's me, 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 me. Usually I would just take energy, but this was a limited edition flavor and it's pretty good, so why not? Why not? And then I guess we'll throw some fruit punch in there. Natural for the pump. A1, day one, day one, Gorilla Mind OGs. Mm-hmm. Nah, we're not OGs. We know who the OG is. We know who the OG is, <laughs> fucking Russo, <laughs> baby. Ryan Russo. Russo. All right, so one meal down, me and Nino are gonna go run chess today. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is actually gonna be day one of a new split that we're gonna be running. It's relatively similar to what we have been doing, but we're gonna drop the weight a little bit because I wanna be hitting anywhere from like the 12 to 15 rep range on the sets that we're hitting today. I want higher volume. Uh, so that's why we're gonna drop the weight a little bit. Should be lit. I'm hyped. Back in the Dragon Slayer, grinding. Uh, day one of the cut, day one of the new split. Let's fucking run it. There's hella people here today, but we're warming up a little bit. Uh, I think we're gonna be sitting at like 220, 200, depending upon how we're feeling. I'm assuming 220, but we'll see. We're gonna take it slow. Like I said at the crib, we wanna shoot for higher reps here. That's why we're dropping the weight just a little bit. Uh, and this is day one, so we'll adjust accordingly, obviously, but feeling pretty good today. Should be a mean pump. We'll see how the second set feels. Come on, Nino, let's go. Heavier than you thought? Well, it's obviously fucking blurry right now, dude. If you're gonna fall along on the split that we're gonna run this month for push days, if you don't love incline, you better learn how to love incline. Dude, the, 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 the growth that I've gotten from Incline just in the last like four months, because I've really been trying to focus on it, has been insane, bro. Like I'm hyped to see where I am in six months, but get ready for some Incline.
around on triceps, bro. Fuck yeah, baby. Feeling good, good, baby. Feeling real good. Hungry. Go. I'm hungry. I'm fucking hungry. Hey, Peeway, we've been fucking hibernating for a little bit. We've been plotting. It's whatever. Bears need to hibernate every once in a while, bro. We've been plotting. But I'm awake now. <laughs> I'm awake. Damn. All right. So it was wild in the gym today, actually. Like, a lot of stuff happened besides us just working out. I met Chris professional wheat guy who I literally I did not know what his actual name was, was like bro which like I only know you by a professional wheat guy <laughs> uh, talk to him a little bit so hopefully we get a little lift later on this week say what's up to them Jay Cutler's like TV manager I don't know what you want to call it he came up and talked to me said that they wanted to have me on JTV I don't know what, I don't even know what that is but I was like I'm down That's nuts. and then we met Kenny KO Kenny KO you know, I feel like if you don't know who Kenny KO is, you have, you ain't been in the game long enough. Like he's an OG. <laughs> so I said, what's up to him? Crazy day, good first day back. I'm about to head home and I'll show you guys my second meal. The second meal might be the best meal. Maybe, actually not. Nah, breakfast probably was, breakfast is gas. All right, so meal number two after the gym. I'm supposed to have a cup of spinach in here, but I ran out, so I'm gonna have to run to the store later. But we got eight ounces of 92% lean, grass-fed, ground beef. I'm not I'm not skimping on the vertical diet when it comes to red meats. Like I know it's pretty expensive right now, but I'm still gonna go out of my way to only consume red meats just because I wanna see if it affects my performance, like if I mm -hmm. if I feel like an improvement, you know? Meal number two, it's just eight ounces of ground beef, like I was saying, uh, another cup of rice, some peppers, and then we're gonna do four ounces of uh, bone broth pretty fire when you mix it all up together. But if you didn't know, bone broth is like super clutch for your gut health and it helps with digestion. So I'm about to smack this and we're gonna go on another 10 minute digestion walk. And then Kat's gonna go hang out with her homie later tonight. I don't know what me and Nino are doing, but we're gonna scheme up something. Boys night. Right. Boys night, baby. Oh shit. Oh, oh she got it. Ruby, give me it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am going to be adding one thing to the vertical diet. Um, so I guess I'm not actually consuming 2,750 calories right now. I'm going to add a bit more carbs. Um, but I'm going to smack one kombucha a day uh, throughout the duration of this cut just because it's really good for your digestive system again. And I figured since I'm going to be smacking one a day, we could always like highlight the flavor and I'll give you a rating from one to 10. Which one's you know this what one? I'm saying? So hopefully at some point, GT Dave is like, damn, this fool's really putting on for me. Let me slide him some fucking kombucha. You feel <laughs> me? I already know California citrus is one of my favorite flavors. I'm going to give this one a 9.2. Um, that's, that's pretty generous. I wouldn't expect another 9.2 for a while, but California citrus, fuego, 9.2. Let me see the bottle real quick so they know. Okay, okay. All right, so I went to eat, but like I said, I ran out of spinach. So me and Nino are gonna run, take care of a couple uh, errands. I'm gonna grab spinach, and then I'll show you what my last two meals for the time being are gonna be. When I make uh, diet adjustments down the road, I'll give you guys an update, but it's gonna be a lot of the same shit, just smaller quantities, okay? So let's go get the spinach, run some errands, see where the night takes us. <laughs> to follow up on what we were talking about earlier, how when we were in the gym, we wanted to put out a little program for you guys, even if it's nothing crazy. Um, originally, I was just gonna run every single workout uh, that we're gonna be running for the next month, and then um, obviously give it to you guys through YouTube. But I think what we're gonna do is me and Nino this week are gonna make a really simple program for what we're gonna be running for the next two, three months uh, during this cutting period. And I want to throw it up on my Instagram for dirt cheap, bro. I'm thinking like, it's not going to be anything crazy. Probably like a $10 program. And it's going to be basic, obviously, but it's what we're going to be doing. So if that's something you guys want, you guys can let me know. Uh, and we'll get to work on it this week. And then I'll plug it on my Instagram and I'll make it dirt cheap for you guys. I haven't put out a program in a while. I obviously want to build bigger ones in the future, but 
Just something fun for the P-Way boys. Yes, I feel like you guys deserve it. Something cheap. Yep. Cheap is always good. Exactly. All right, now we're at Schmidt's, boy. We gotta go secure the spinach. Secure this bag. Mm -hmm. We'll grab a few of these, bro. I go through spinach so quick right now. Yeah, facts. Whoop back. Do that. All right. Meal number three, like I promised you guys, pretty much the same meals I had before, minus the bone broth. It's eight more ounces of ground beef. We had to run to the store, get the spinach, and then another cup of rice and some peppers. And that's it. I'm gonna smash this, go on a little walk, mm -hmm. hit the mega bong vibe, mm -hmm. and then I'll eat my last meal and I'll get you guys on your way. I know a lot of people like like full day of eating videos. I don't really do them that much because Diet is usually pretty boring, especially if you're doing like a bodybuilding type diet, bro. I can't stand to eat like that, so I had to switch it up. And the vertical diet is bust, bro. Mm -hmm. I could eat beef, rice, peppers, and spinach like every single day for the rest of my life, I think, genuinely. Yeah. It never gets old. With a nice cup of OJ, too. Oh, yeah. This is that quality OJ shit. Only quality <laughs> shit up in this bitch, you yes, know what I'm sir. saying? Nah, but this is the cold pressed. If you're not drinking cold pressed OJ, you're missing out. Balancing cannabis and a calorie deficit, the biggest challenge of my life. The biggest challenge, you know, God gives his greatest challenges to his strongest warriors. <laughs> preaching this since day one baby yes sir. Greek yogurt sour cream you can't really tell the difference mm -mm. macros are way better bam and there she is baby it's my last meal i went six ounces of ground beef uh half a cup of rice i'm gonna smack three carrots and i got a half a cup of some greek yogurt up in there mm -hmm. and that's gonna wrap it up that's it for that's okay. it's a full day of eating all right, you guys, that's for real. Uh, gonna wrap it up today. That was what I'm gonna be eating for the next two weeks until I decide to drop the calories, see how I'm feeling. Um, I'm gonna play it by ear. This is me attempting to get mm -hmm. lean with Nino, you feel yeah, me? We're not getting show ready, we're, we're getting, getting hoe ready. ready. That's what Nino says at least, you feel <laughs> me? I love you guys. If you could, drop a comment. That would literally make my fucking day. Mm -hmm. So blow that shit up, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.